Let somebody shout hallelujah. Let us pray. Authority in heaven, we want to bless your name. We thank you for bringing us together in this very platform, the moment of truth, in your presence, and set our times in the mighty name of Jesus. We want to thank you, God, for the past editions of this program, and we are thanking you for this particular edition, God, and set our times in the mighty name of Jesus. Unto you we've come today, and I pray by the power that is in your word, you will heal us and set us in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father, in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen and amen. Once again, I want to welcome you into another edition of the moment of truth in his presence in the name of God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. You are welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. And in every nation of the world where you are hearing us now, I want to say God bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus. The theme of our message today is anointing for laughter. Anointing for laughter. Let me quickly say to somebody that is hearing me now, to this message, anointing for laughter, I release unto you now, receive in the name of Jesus. The heaven we open unto you and release anointing for laughter to you in the name of Jesus. And you will laugh again. No matter your situation now, I decree into your life, you will have freezing to laugh again. Tell yourself three times, I will laugh again. I will laugh again. I will laugh again. And I say amen to that. Our principal text is taken from Genesis chapter 21, verse 6. Genesis 21, verse 6. And Sarah said, God had made me to laugh so that all that hear will laugh with me. I pray for somebody today that everyone that has been laughing at you now because of that problem in your life will soon join you to laugh with you in the mighty name of Jesus. And 90 for laughter is the power of God from above that turns our shame and reproach to laughter. I come back again. Anointing for laughter is the power of God from above that turns our shame and our reproach to laughter. Now, looking at Sarah, in a Bible text, in Genesis 21, 6, before this time, while her barrenness lasted, she became an embodiment of reproach and shame, even in her family, in the neighborhood. It was terrible. Even a maid, a housemaid, mocker. We can see that one in Genesis chapter 16, 3 to 4, briefly. Genesis 16, 3 to 4. And Sarah, Abraham, why took Aga, a maid, the Gibson. After Abraham had dwelt ten years in the land of Canaan, and gave her and gave her to her husband, Abraham, to be his wife, and they went in unto Agar, and she conceived. And when she saw that she had conceived, her mistress was despised in her eyes. Can we see? So why her barrenness lasted? Sarah was even reproached and mocked by her housemaid. But when anointing for laughter he tell her in Genesis chapter 18 19 to 10 Genesis 18 9 to 10 Genesis 18 9 to 10 I read it and they said unto him where is Sarah thy wife and he said behold in the tent and he said I will certainly return unto thee according to the time of life and lo Sarah thy wife shall have a son and Sarah had it in the tent door, which was behind him. You see, Sarah was buried for many years. He, biologically, it was over for her. She entered to menopause for almost 40 years. 
Because this thing happened at the age of 19. It was so bad for her. No hope of her conceiving or having a child in life. So she became an embodiment of shame and reproach. Object of ridicule in the neighborhood because of that problem of barrenness in her life. And to worsen the matter, like I said earlier, her own maid that she gave to her husband to marry as a wife because she could not produce a child. She gave her maid, Haga, to her husband. And then when Haga conceived, Haga mocked Sarah. Haga despised Sarah. It was shame to shame. But a day came when Abraham and Sarah entertained divine visitors. May I pray for somebody today? You will entertain divine visitors in the mighty name of Jesus. Anytime divine visitors come around, I pray the grace to see him and to see them and to receive them and to entertain them. May you receive today the name of Jesus. Many a times, many of us will lose our miracles because God will send somebody to us. You will see the person as ordinary human beings. You may treat him or her anyhow, anyhow. Not knowing that that is your divine visitor. I pray for somebody once again. Anytime our divine visitor appear, may God open our eyes to see like that of Abraham. Abraham saw them and he beckoned unto them. He brought them into his house. He invited them. And after he took care of them, and when they were living, after eating and whining, when they were living, they asked Abraham, where is Sarah their wife? Meaning what? Where is your problem? Where is your reproach? Where is your shame? Where is your tear? And where is your pain? Sarah was in the other tent. And now listen. And one of the visitors released anointing that he said, Sarah, said, this time next year, this time next season, Sarah, your wife will conceive and bear a child. And when he opened his mouth and declared, the anointing of God came out of his mouth, traveled by the space, and heated Sarah where she was. Though Sarah did not even believe that it's going to be possible. But then, anointing for laughter was released by the divine visitor and then entered into the body of Sarah and quickened the dead body. Eventually, in that very scene that the divine stop promise, Sarah gave birth to Isaac. And in Genesis 21, 6, Genesis 21, 6, she now said, God had made me to love, and they that hear that I am now a mother will laugh with me. So through the anointing for laughter that the divine visitor released upon her, she became a mother. And shame disappear, and reproach disappear. They that were reproaching her before, they that were laughing at her before, they now join her to laugh with her. I pray for somebody today, anointing for laughter, that you turn your shame to glory, that you turn your frustration to celebration, that you turn your pain to gain, that you turn your failure to success. Wherever you are hearing me now, in any nation of the world, where you are hearing me now, I release that anointing to you now. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Get it now by fire in the name of Jesus. Anointing for laughter. Now, there is a good news here. I say good news to somebody. And what is it? It is your turn to laugh. 
that is, it is your turn to receive anointing for laughter. It is your turn to receive anointing for laughter. It is your turn to receive anointing for laughter. It is your turn to receive anointing for laughter. It is your turn to receive anointing for laughter. It is your turn to receive anointing for laughter. You better receive it now. Yes, receive it now by faith. Say, I receive it. Receive it now. Receive anointing for laughter. By faith, wherever you are hearing me now, in any nation of the world, where you are hearing me, receive your own anointing for laughter. Now just say, I receive anointing for laughter. Just continue. I receive anointing for laughter. I receive anointing for laughter. I receive anointing for laughter. So shall it be. In the name of Jesus, you better say, Lada, Amen. The day the anointing for laughter was released, Upon the Sarah, everything changed for the better in her life. Her dead womb changed. When anointing for laughter is released upon you, everything that is dead in your family, everything that is dead in your business, everything that is dead in your body, everything that is dead in your academies will receive a new life. So today, once again, I release now anointing for laughter to you. Get it now. In the name of Jesus, you better say a louder. Amen. Now, the next thing is to pray. We have seven prayer points. And these seven prayer points will usher us into a new season of laughter, of celebration, of joy. Because each of the prayer points carries anointing. Not only anointing, but anointing for laughter. But then, before we pray, John 9, 31 says, John 9, 31 says, God does not hear the prayer of a sinner. Bow down your head wherever you are in case you are inside your office or inside your room and you are less busy. You can just bow down your head. But in case you are on the road or you are moving or you are driving, just pray this prayer along with me as you are driving, as you are moving on the road. Just say, Lord God Almighty, in case you still commit sin, you better pray this prayer. And say, Lord God Almighty, I want to pray today for anointing, for laughter, but I know that sin can hinder my prayer. So, Almighty Father, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Forgive me every sin that I've committed all to date in life, the one I know, and the many I don't know. By your mercy, just forgive me. In the name of Jesus, just continue to pray. Pray, pray for forgiveness of sin in the name of Jesus so that God can hear and answer your prayer in the name of Jesus. In case you are here to give your life to Jesus Christ, I want to tell you the time to do so now is now. It's now, it's now, it's now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father, and blessed be your name, Lord. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Now it is time to go fully into the prayer sessions. Like I said, we have seven prayer points here and we are going to take it speedily. Now, we always start by saying in the name of Jesus. Don't forget. Now, prayer number one. Prayer number one. Shout to the name of Jesus and say every shame and every reproach in my life and family. What are you waiting for? Receive the word of God and disappear by fire. Let us pray. Every shame and every reproach in my life and family. What are you waiting for? Receive the word of God and disappear by fire. In the name of Jesus. Every shame and every reproach in my life and family. What are you waiting for? Receive the word of God and disappear appear by fire, disappear by fire. In Jesus' wonderful name, we are prayed. Amen and amen. Prayer number two, shout in the name of Jesus and say, every situation of weeping and mourning in my life, shame to laughter by, power, by the power of anointing. In the name of Jesus, every situation of weeping and mourning in my life, Change to laughter by the power of anointing. In the name of Jesus, you better pray. Every situation of weeping and money in my life, change to laughter by the power of anointing. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Prayer number three, shout in the name of Jesus and say, anointing for laughter, come upon my life and change my ugly situation 
to laughter, you better pray. Anointing for laughter, come upon my life and change my ugly situation to laughter. In the name of Jesus, anointing for laughter, come upon my life and change my ugly situation to laughter. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Prayer number four, shout in the name of Jesus and say, anointing for laughter, come upon my life and shame my failure to success. In the name of Jesus, anointing for laughter, come upon my life and change my failure to success. In the name of Jesus, anointing for laughter, come upon my life and change my failure to success. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' wonderful name, we are freedom. Amen and amen. Prayer number five, shout in the name of Jesus and say, anointing for laughter, come upon my life and change my sorrow to joy. In the name of Jesus, anointing for laughter, come upon my life and change my sorrow to joy. In the name of Jesus, anointing for laughter, come upon my life and change my sorrow to joy. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we are afraid. Amen and amen. And then over six, shout in the name of Jesus and say, anointing for laughter, come upon my life and change my frustration to celebration. In the name of Jesus, anointing for laughter, come upon my life and change my frustration to celebration in the name of Jesus and nothing for laughter come upon my life and change my frustration to celebration in the name of Jesus in Jesus wonderful name we are free amen and finally prayer number seven shout in the name of Jesus and say and nothing for laughter come upon my life and make me laugh again in the name of Jesus and nothing for laughter come upon my life and make me laugh again in the name of Jesus, and nothing for laughter. Come upon my life and make me laugh again. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' wonderful name, we are freed. Amen and amen. And I decree into your life in the name that is above every other name that anointing for laughter that you make your frustration to turn to celebration receive now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus and nothing for laughter that will come to your life and make you to laugh again receive now in the name of Jesus and nothing for laughter that will come upon your life and share your sorrow to joy receive now in the name of Jesus and nothing for laughter that will come upon your life and share your failure to success receive now in the name of Jesus and nothing for laughter that will come upon your life and change your ugly situation to laughter receive now in the name of Jesus and every situation of weeping and mourning in your life, I decree today, let it shame to laughter by the power of anointing in the name of Jesus. And finally, I decree today that every shame and reproach in your life will receive the word of God now and disappear by fire in the name of Jesus. And I pray that great will your testimony be and great will your laughter be and you will laugh and laugh and laugh again for the rest of your life. Things to laugh about, things to laugh for will be your daily experience in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father and professional God, you tarries. Bring God back into this program program again in the name of Jesus. But in case you come before the next edition of this program, Lord God Almighty, count us for the O God to reign with you in heaven in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father. In Jesus' wonderful name, we are freed. Amen and amen. Once again, God bless you in Jesus' name. Let somebody shout hallelujah.